Hi everyone, I'm Andy Allen for Applied Shortercan. Just want to let you know that I have a new blog site up and running. It's AppliedShortercan.com. My first post is a critique, if you will, on step sparring, whether it be Ippon Kumite, Sanban, or Gohan Kumite. Uh, I don't believe it has a whole lot of value. Now, I'm speaking uh, from the standpoint of developing transferable skills in the context of self-defense. Um, there's a number of things I, I, I go through. First of all, the, the distance is all wrong because it's, it's, it's really far away. Uh, you're attacking from four feet away. It just doesn't happen self-defense, which happens at close range. Next thing is the, the nature of the attacks. Um, I'm a big critic of, of uh, using an oizu here, a sipping punch, to defend against. I don't believe it's of a whole lot of value, even for beginners. Uh, it's not realistic whether um, it be an untrained person or a trained person. You're never, ever going to see it in a fighting context or self-defense. I don't think we should spend a lot of time on it. Uh, the next critique I have is on defense. The the um, the, the defense you typically have is, you know, the, the, the big agyu gailis, that's my experience, uh, or the soto uke, um, and the, the, typically it's a yakuzuki at the end. And again, it's it, the, the blocks are big motions, um, and, and the the attack is usually yakuzuki. Uh, the next point I make is uh, the lack of use of hikate. So generally, it's um, for the for the attacker, it's pulled to the the hip really powerfully, supposedly to generate more power in your punch. That's just not true. That's probably material for for another post. Um, and, and when we're we're blocking, usually again, it's just pulled to the hip, with some exceptions. Uh, over compliance is another issue. I, I, I'm not, I don't have a problem with practicing compliance drills. I think that's important for developing good technique and distancing and targeting and everything. But the, the step sparring seems to be over compliant where a person flies in with a, a stepping punch or oizuki, stays there for two seconds while the other person kind of has their way with them. And the other issue I have with um, step sparring is the fact that you step straight back, straight back, straight back. Now, some of you may have had different experiences, but that's what I have seen in my training in the past. Um, stepping straight back is not a good habit to ingrain. In a self-defense situation, you don't know what's behind you. There could be a curb. There could be a chair in the bar. You don't know what's behind you. We should be looking at fine angles and getting away, getting off the line of attack. Musashi said we can only fight the way we train. Regardless of our goals of training, whether it be for self-defense, for fighting, for uh, sport kumite, uh, our training methodologies have to develop good habits that we can rely on in time of stress. Uh, I, I think step sparring falls really short uh, in that regard, and I think we can spend our time doing much more valuable exercises. Anyway, hope you enjoy the read. Looking forward to hearing your comments. Happy training.